Summer is here and we at the doctors want to make sure you're protected from head to toe. So here to reveal secrets to keeping your feet in tip top shape this summer is podiatrist and human movement specialist, Dr. Emily Splickle. Emily, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. All right. So let's get started. What's the most frequently asked question you get about summer foot care? So the top question I get is all about cracked heels and dry skin. What do we do? How do we prevent this? And what I tell my patients is that if you're getting dry cracked heels, you want to treat them every single day. So this is using something topical. It's actually called an emollient and it has something like lactic acid or uric acid in it. And it slowly helps to debride the skin. I also recommend doing a mechanical debridement. So getting the pumice stones out and debriding the skin at least a couple times a week. And you really do want to avoid getting what's called a fissure. So if you're avoiding taking care of them, you can actually get a crack in the skin. And this is a break where bacteria can get in and then you can actually get an infection from it. Boy, I've had those fissures, Dr. Emily, and they are painful. They can be, which is why I say it's better to prevent than react. Yeah, and as we know, the bottom of your foot has the thickest skin of the body. What does that mean? Well, that means you have the most turnover of skin. That's why it's so important what you said. Get that pumice stone. You want to get rid of that dead skin to allow the new cells work their way to the surface, right? Absolutely. And again, mechanical and a topical debridement, that combination is going to help you keep your skin soft so that it looks beautiful in your summer sandals. Great tips. All right. What do people need to consider when choosing the right summer footwear? If you are going to be using closed toed shoes in the summer, you want to make sure that the fabric is breathable. So this is avoiding anything that's synthetic. And what people don't realize is a lot of sandals are actually made of plastic. So the way that we try to avoid plastic in our water bottles and containers that we might microwave, same thing with our shoes, is you don't want anything to leach out of those materials. And then you also want to make sure that if you are at the beach or you're at the pool and you're going back into your shoes, that you want to keep the feet dry because wet environments are perfect for fungus and bacteria to grow. 